Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a quick little tutorial showing you how I use some of the newest products from the drugstore. So let's get started. Here I am putting my hair back and sipping on some coffee because it's early this morning. And the first product I'm going to use is a Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is my favorite shade, Bad to the Bronze, and I'm using that to prime just the moving part of my lid. Because I want my eyeshadows to stick everywhere in my eye area and not just where I've primed with my color tattoo, I'm using City Colors Eye Primer just on my brows as well as on my inner corner. The first shade I'm using is a new color tattoo Pure Pigment in Improper Copper and I'm using a fluffy brush to pat that all over the moving part of my lid, basically where I put that color tattoo to begin with. Next I'm taking the same brush I was using before in the shade Pink Rebel and this is actually going to be my crease shade. Just working that from my outer corner all the way until about the inner third. And last for shadows I'm going in with Breaking Bronze and a smaller dome brush, this one is from e.l.f. And I'm using that to just pat that in my inner corner making it super concentrated to give my eyes a little bit more depth. Then for some extra definition, I'm going in with this Revlon Grow Luscious Liner in brown and I'm using that to line super close to my upper lash line as well as my upper and lower water lines. On the lower water line, I stuck really closely to just the outer third because I didn't want this to be too closed off of a look or too dramatic for the daytime. Now it's time for the mascara. This is Maybelline's Falsies Big Eyes Mascara and the first thing I'm doing is taking the littler wand for my littler lashes. I'm applying those to my lower lashes but then I'm also using it kind of like IT Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara to get right up to the, at the base of my upper lashes and I find that helps not only to find my upper lash line but also helps keep my upper lashes more separated when I go in and use the bigger wand. Which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Next up is foundation and in this look I'm using Maybelline's Fit Me Shine Free Foundation which obviously comes in a stick form. A few of you had questions as to how I applied it so I thought I would show you in this video. You can see I'm just applying it directly to my face, keeping it pretty symmetric on each side to make sure that I'm applying an even amount all over my face. And then I'll go in with my Real Techniques buffing brush and buff it in and it's just really as simple as that. To conceal, I used e.l.f.'s Maximum Coverage Concealer and a fluffy brush to blend that in my under eye area and then I used my fingers to dab that on problem spots and blemishes and things that I wanted covered up around my face. Today I'm just contouring and I'm using Rimmel's Natural Bronzer in the shade Sunlight and a Real Techniques contour brush to contour the sides of my face as well as my temples and a little bit around my chin. For blush today, I'm using the Blush Duo from City Color in Hot Pink and Soft Pink and an angled blush brush to apply that to my cheeks, you know, as one does with blush. Now on to the lips and one of my favorite new releases from the drugstore this summer. This is a Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer in the shade Stellar, which is a hot coral. I'm just applying that all over my lips. You can absolutely go for a more toned down shade with this look, but I am loving the look of bright lips for the summer, so I'm going to rock them while I can. And that is everything you need to create this look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!